Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the third installment of my Rags to Riches with a Cat Colony series where I am going through the Rags to Riches challenge with a cat colony. Last time we built everything that we needed to in order to start building outside. So that includes um, kind of all the basic rooms like a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. Um, and then I think today we're gonna try to finish our starter home all together. So we need, um, it looks like two more bedrooms, another bathroom, a study with at least one computer, and then we do need a garden and an outdoor pool. So hopefully we'll get that finished today because we need a full starter home to get married and to have a career. So. Um, that's our goal for today. Maybe we'll start finding like a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a partner. I also am planning on updating the kind of base house that we have already because I'm tired of living in a bunker and I want to have something cuter. So we will try that as well. We do have quite a bit of money. Gosh, I don't really like how this is set up. It's just so ugly. I wonder if I can rearrange some of this. Yeah, I just don't love the way this is set up. All right, we're getting to something that's looking like something. It's a weird shaped house, but whatever. This is such a weird layout. I really kind of just want to start from scratch. Yeah, I don't like this very much. Okay, we'll put all of this stuff in our inventory. Thinking, yeah, we'll sell all of this. Whew, what kind of house do we want to make? I don't know, I like kind of these odds and ends. Hmm. Yeah, this looks freaking weird. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna look up some inspiration. I don't know, I'm used to building houses with no budget, even like the small ones. Tiny house with turret. So we'll start, I'm going to start with a turret because that's the most important part to me. done rebuilding our basic house. Um, I did use the $6,000 that we got from uh, Vlad Stratislav. So we have like this kind of nice farmhouse Victorian, complete with what looks like a shed, but is actually our cat house. So we have the beginnings here with a cat tower finally. We have like an eating station. Uh, I haven't play tested this yet, so I'm not sure if the cats will be able to access this. We might have to move the cat tower, but then we have a little separate bathroom area too. Inside, we have all of our cats who are too cold, but we have our, our living room, our bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, dining room, and then up here in this turret is gonna be the study, I think. I'm not completely sure yet, but we'll see. It looks like we could also probably start building on a second level eventually for like the bedrooms and the other bathrooms. Um, but for now, this is, this is what it is. So used up almost all of our money renovating, but I think it's gonna be worth it uh, for my sanity at least. It is winter already, so I don't know how much like actual gardening we can do, but we could certainly set it up. Yeah, let's get started. Oh, I don't even know if she'll be able to reach them. Well, maybe let's try it this way. So we don't have as many bathrooms for the cats, but that might be okay. Let's see what they think. I eventually want to like build a loft or something here and maybe the cats could like sleep up here. I hope Taco's feeling better. You have some kind of sickness, Socks. I don't know what it is. What's going on? Why are there so many puddles? I'm gonna stock up on those wellness treats because I'm sick of taking the cats to the vet. And we have the money now to have like a stockpile. 
Duh. Purchase pet items. We will give Socks one of them. I think we can go home because he's cured. She's cured, I'm sorry. I'm hoping that since there's like a roof. Oh, there's a crazy party happening right now. Claudia. Yeah, we're gonna go to the party. So I think Claudia could hook us up with some potential romantic partners because she seems to know everyone who's available. A party with the cats. Dance battle with Jada, Jade. It looks like she's gonna beat me. She looks so much cooler. It's like the choreographed dance that you do for your family at Thanksgiving when you're like eight or nine. I was gonna say, maybe she has a shot, but I don't know. Jade's doing a little better. Oh, hello. There's Claudia. I'm not dating Claudia. She's gonna cheat on me. I feel like here's another young adult. Hey, you look kind of cool. Let's do a friendly introduction. I like that she's not afraid to dance by herself. Do we like her? Let's see. What are your hobbies and skills? What's your career? We're just gonna share love of cats. We gotta really scope her out before we know if she's the one. That could fit with us. She's unemployed. Great. Us too. She's a cat lover. Oh, okay. She's a cat lover. Could this be the one? Dislikes dancing? God, you're so boring. Yes, you hate dancing. Sure. I want to know her personality traits. Duh. She's good. Gosh, I think this might be our wife. We're going to go to sleep though, I guess. Oh yeah. Sleeping in the weeds while everyone else parties. They're having a drink. Is this Bob Ross? I want to flirt with Maya. We're going to ask if she's single. She can't be our wife if she's not single. Although maybe we could become a homewrecker. Yes! She just wants to dance. We're both flirty. Here we go. This might be our wife. I know it's a little early. I knew Claudia would hook us up. I'm just saying. I'd like to swan dive into a swimming pool. Do we have one? Oh, okay, here we go. Swan dive for the group. And if Maya isn't watching us, I am going to be devastated. Claudia's watching. Here we go. Here's the swan dive. There we go. Oh, it's freezing. Oh my god, she's gonna die. She has to get out. She's going to die. And all the cats are fighting squirrels tonight. I think we can go home now. I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. I'm not trying to be a Claudia or anything, but I think we did just meet our wife at a party at the Bluffs, and my mind isn't going to be changed about that. So Maya, our future wife, doesn't like the color pink, so I think before we have her over for a date, maybe we could change our house for her. That's what you do for when you're dating someone, right? You change your entire personality. I'm going to paint something small. We'll do a small classic painting. And maybe this could be a gift to our wife, Maya. Just having a conversation with the cats about love. What? I think I have a crush on Kelvin Pease. Sure, go for it. <gasps> Maya wants to go on a date with us. Yes, of course. I think we'll leave the cats at home for this one. They might interrupt us. Actually, no, the cats and I are a package deal and she's a cat lover as well. Let's get a drink. Shall we sit at the bar? Why is this dude sitting in between us? What, where are you going? Give romantic gift. Let's give her a small classic painting of clowns. Here we go. Here's our gift. What do you think? <gasps> do you like it? I'm going to give her a rose as well. We gave her a clown painting and we will give her a rose. <gasps> she gave us a rose. We're gonna kiss. Here we go. Oh, there we go. This is our wife now. Thanks for a great date. Talk to you soon. Awesome, okay get ready for bed and then in the morning we will 
see what we can do to get Maya to love us. Oh, it's a masterpiece? That one, we're not going to give as a gift. We're gonna sell that one. This is a great gift. We still don't have enough for a computer, but we'll get there. We have the start of our study. She's expanding her creative boundaries. Who is this? Lionel? Lionel looks cute. He looks stylish. I'm gonna feel him out, see if he's another potential suitor. Oh, he's good too? Oh, dang. He's not a cat lover though. Oh, why is he doing that? He's hissing like a cat. But employed, just like me, that's great. Oh, he's a vampire. He's a good vampire. He's good, he's neat. If he's a vampire, does he know the guy who we beat up? Oh, he's cleaning our house for us. That is a perk. Would be nice to have a spouse to move in with us who will completely take care of the cat stuff while I pursue my dreams. I don't know, let's flirt with him. Let's see what happens. Is he single? We should probably figure that out first. He is single, all right. Do we have to turn into a vampire in order to date him? That's kind of what I'm wondering. He's very uncomfortable. We should probably let him leave. Um, oh, but we do have enough for a computer now, so... All right, so we officially have a study. Okay. So this is something. It's Winterfest. I'm going to invite over... Maya. So I can give her a gift. We will give you the painting that we actually painted for you. Does she not like it? She didn't like the gift that we made. We painted her a painting. She, we gave her a custom painting and she gave us a hopper statue. That makes me really uncomfortable actually that she didn't like our gift and she gave us something bad. I don't think that what's his name would do this to us at all. I think he would give us a better gift if we knew each other longer. She's just using us for our computer, just like everybody else. Uh, I suppose I can build some walls. We'll finish it up later. No, we don't have it snowing into our house. Okay, what else do we need to do to have a successful winter fest? A grand meal. Good thing she's getting hungry. Okay, let's put out some servings for our cats, just like we did for Harvest Fest. Look at this. Cats don't look like they are appreciating the ham dinner I made, so I'm just gonna put it back in the fridge. Oh, he's here! Father Winter, give us a present. Give us things that we can sell. Let's give you a crow feather, and I will get something way better in exchange. What is it? What's it gonna be? A motion monitor gaming mat. Oh, we can sell that for a lot of money. Oh, that is a great gift. That's way better than the crow feather that I gave him. And such a Maya right now, like giving a gift that's way worse than the gift that I'm getting, but I do appreciate it, I think more than she did. Start making our second level. Okay, so I moved the stairs over here for more room and I made this these rooms a little bit bigger. And then up here, I have another bedroom here, which I think is gonna be the main bedroom that we'll move into. A small little bathroom here, and then this will be a small guest bedroom, or like a kid's bedroom that is connected to the study. We almost have a big house big enough for our family to begin. I mean, we have a family right now. They're very furry. Oh, Lionel Thornton has something important that he needs to ask me. Would I like to hang out for a while? Sure. I don't know what that means. I hope he's not gonna turn me into a vampire? What is his question? Shoot, I mean, do we wanna be a vampire? Lionel Thornton would like to give your sim the gift of eternal life. Do you accept? This is a big decision. It would mean that I can't go out into the sun, which is really bad for gardening. Although I suppose you could garden in the dark. Cats have nine lives. 
Should we have nine lives? She could live forever. But then our, well, as I say, our spouse won't and our kids won't. But if Lionel becomes our spouse, then we'll have eternal life together? This could be ideal. Let's see. Heads, we will continue our mortal life. Tails, we will become a vampire. Oh, shit. <laughs> Heads. So we are going to not become a vampire. That was nice that he even considered us. The cats aren't very happy. He's flirty. Let's kiss him, too. Let's pull a Claudia and kiss everybody. We theoretically could have two spouses, maybe. Um, wow, okay, he wants to... He's offering again to make us a vampire. So we will do another coin flip. Again, heads are we say no, tails are we say yes. Gosh, if I can catch. This one is tails. So we will say yes this time. Uh, so he just changed his outfit. I'm a little bit confused about why he needed to. Needs, I've never played as a vampire before. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, I think because Lionel and I are both vampires, maybe he's the one for me. Ask about vampire history, we should probably know more about where we come from. What? He doesn't know anything about vampires? No, I think he's good, he's neat, and he's high maintenance. Do I kill people to eat now? I guess I don't really know. So this is our enemy. And he's congratulating us or like walking us through the process of becoming a vampire, which is kind of nice, but um, maybe we will raise like a vampire army and it will be us and Lionel versus this guy and whoever is on his side. I think logistically Lionel makes the most sense for our future spouse because he's neat, he's a vampire, and that's about it. Ooh, Maya wants to go on a date and just turned into a vampire. If I feed from her, I think I'm a monster. Make out in closet. Is there an option to eat her? I guess maybe I gotta wait still. Maybe let's debate the existence of vampires. This feels like the beginning of like an Anne Rice book or something. Like, like a vampire goes up to a non-vampire and is like, do you believe in vampires? And then they're like, no. Well, you better believe. I guess we're just, it's just a regular party. Honestly, like, I'm tired of this mortal life. And, oh, we're transforming. Ooh, oh. She got a wardrobe change without my permission. They just gave me all these old lady clothes. Well, that's not gonna do. I guess we have to do a makeover. I think now we can bite people. Maybe we'll test it out. Let's see. We'll invite Maya over. Is she here already? Oh, she's coming over right now. It's almost like she knows we want to drink her blood. What a good friend. I'm just like a, I don't know, like a cat girl in middle school now. I just like growl. I'm going to ask her permission. Oh, she didn't like that. How do I convince her that it it's gonna be fine. Whatever, maybe I'll just keep painting. You know, most of the time when I play The Sims, I have like some idea of what I'm doing, but I legitimately do not know how to get plasma other than like drinking it from somebody. Let's invite Mosh over. Okay, this Bob Ross guy. I'm going to try to get him to agree to let me drink from him. We'll complain about sunlight so he knows what he's getting into. Vampire... Compel for a small drink. Please? I thought she would like get hotter when she was like drinking from people. Finally! A good meal. Thanks bud. She looks cool. 
Oh, what is this? <laughs> Later Hosen? Is this the one? I think this is the one. Now we have a cohesive vampire ensemble to match our regular form. Because I am tired of her looking like the way she did before. It kind of looks like an abstract cat painting, although I'm not entirely sure. Alessandro Grant, who are you? Under what conditions? We got some more money. Dang, we keep like running into a lot of unexpected money this game, which I appreciate quite a bit. So I'm going to use that to furnish up here. So we have all of our inside bedrooms done. We will do a pool. All right. So we have a pool. We do not have a garden. So we'll do some raised beds along here. I believe we have met the challenge so far. We have three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, a dining room, a living room, a study with at least one computer, an outdoor garden with a pool. So to summarize today, we finished our starter home finally. Uh, we became a vampire. We have two love interests, one of which turned us into a vampire. Um, our enemy is helping us become a vampire and become acclimated, but we still don't like him. And we have a really cool house now. I think that's the thing I'm most excited about. So uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next time for us to start a career and a family. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.